All right, let's try this again. Now we should be live on Twitch part. I know I'm live on YouTube. Maybe. Yes. Perfect. All right. Trying this again. All right. We're bringing in a new franchise mode. Um, I'm going to be editing a lot of things, including the setups. Um, right now, we're mainly streaming this off of YouTube, and I'm streaming it off of YouTube from my phone over to Twitch for you guys. That way you guys get to see everything. I have edited um, key new movements. So this is technically Madden 21 realistic um, rebuild. Um, what I mean by that is... We have Deshaun Hopkins on the Cardinals, so I was able to move that over. Um, who else got more? DeMarcus Cousins. I think that's his name. Um, and Breland got signed to the Chiefs. Um, Phil Rivers is with the Colts now. Um, what else happened? Kyle Van Noyes with the Dolphins. They have a bunch of other sign pickups that they got. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. what else? I think that's all I can think of that got signed. That are at least the more important ones that you guys would know about. Um, I am going with the Texans though. I'm also going to be modifying a lot settings. of different if you points. Wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. We're going to use a custom coach. Um, let's see here. Let's be a team builder. Chris Dale. Who the hell that is? Oh, I hope it lets me move the the starting point of the week too. Cause I don't want to start where it's going to have me at. Hopefully, it's uh, it's nice and it doesn't do that to me. Um, hmm. Guess we don't get a lot to pick from. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, offensive playbook. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it the Houston. That's fine. Starting point, um, hmm. Oh, I don't have a choice because it's custom league, huh? Hmm. Okay. I was hoping we'd sim to the next year, but that's fine. That's fine.
Um, we'll get into that editing in a little bit. Let's go back to the main part of the live stream. Um, starting point. It's recommending preseason. Hmm. I really don't want to play preseason though. If I'm being, if I'm being honest, I really don't want to play preseason. Start the regular season by selecting your season goal. No, nah, we'll get there. I need to edit all this stuff first. Game options. No. Accessibility. Entering settings screen. You nope. have 18 options. Not that. The narration option is set to office selected. All right. Shut up. And league settings. Why do these look different?
different than what it was telling me. That should be it. Alright. That should be all the settings um, that we need to go through. I do believe so. Any of the other ones I can self-modify if I want. Um, otherwise, these should be the best options um, for doing so, for just on a weekly basis. Um, I really don't want to do weekly training, if I'm being honest. I really don't. I couldn't give two titty fucks. Um, with that being said, rest of it should be up to me. the playoffs start your week by installing your game plan yeah we're not gonna do weekly offensive training each week once you've made your game plan choose to that's start not happening um by the way we should take a look at the team uh, take a good look at the team right now we got brandon cooks uh, Deshaun Watson. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. I need to go in and this edit some player players. Car. This is the development. This is the abilities tab. Here you can see what. I need to go in and edit some players too. That that was the other big thing that I was reading up on teams. Um, that they want players to do. Um, because Madden didn't make some of these options good for teams, is to use your own opinion of how you would edit players. What I mean by that is, um, what are you gonna give him? Superstar development or superstar X Factor? Um, Sean Watson should be superstar X Factor in my opinion. He's lights out player. Then you go down to Titans. Um, doesn't really come to mind for being elite. Um, we get to. Baker is fine. Um, <laughs> he should be superstar. This player factor. has a zone ability. This is a powerful ability. That... So he should, yeah, he's superstar X Factor. So I don't need to worry about him. Colts, you're fine. I don't even care what you're at. Eagles, Carson Wentz. This was one of the ones that they were um, when they were talking about it. Uh, he needs to be superstar. That way we get some better QB plays. Uh, 49ers. Jimmy Galopero. They want him at superstar level as well. Um, let's see here. Packers and Rodgers should be at Superstar X Factor. Perfect. Um, Rams, Jerry Golf should be at Superstar. Look at that hair. That hair looks sexy. It was a close race, too, from picking the Rams as well. I almost picked the Rams for this. But I went with the Texans just because... I never really went with them before. They uh, they kind of had to earn my uh, trust for it. Drew Brees, he should be a superstar X Factor. Yep. Oops. Oh well. I think that was all the play, uh, all the ones that I needed to edit, anyways. Um, upgrade players. Um, I'm just gonna auto upgrade, honestly. Oh, uh, let's see here. You have great browse available players to improve your team. Joe Burrow. <laughs> okay. You should not be out there, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> Danny Vitali. Actually, he's pretty good, but I already have a fullback, so I don't need to do that. Tight ends, Jordan Aikens. 
Jordan Thomas, okay. Um, okay, I think I'm fine with that. Left guard. Oh boy, my offensive line looks brutal. Defensive tackle. He's a, this is a free agent? Hell yeah, sign that. Sign that. Hell yeah. That's a good pickup. Okay. Good thing I'm looking. Uh, can't really do much better than where I'm at right now. Left outside linebacker Jake Ryan. Sure. Former Packer player. Got all my love to give to you. Uh, cornerbacks. Okay. Why is he in here? I can sign him? This is a rookie, though. Oh, okay. So I, I see what he did. He put him on free agent restricted so that they could not be signed. But I'm going to do it anyways. Because, you know, it's my league. Um, okay. We got to cut some players, I assume. We do. Got like six play or three cut, Ugh, three to cut, right? Cause the Kunma is in here. Yeah, there he is. Shouldn't be in the game, but he is. That's the only one that shouldn't be right now on the team. But oh well. It's connected franchise is gonna be a little broken sometimes. Got to cut three players. I'm gonna Easily cut players that can give me money too. Recommendations to get you started. I Kyra Murphy wasn't he on the Packers? Maybe I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, these are the recommendations. I want the most bang for my buck, for money wise. All right, and then okay, practice squad. Oh, they put him on practice squad players. Okay, interesting. Just trying to understand. All right, play full game. Let's get into it. Monday night, prime night. Oh, I'm gonna go use the restroom super quick too. How will the Saints respond to heartbreak yet again? It's the coach. It's the first of two this Monday night on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the New Orleans Saints trying to put the sting of last year's NFC Championship game no call behind them as they play host to a preseason favorite in the AFC South, the Houston Texans. All right. All right. It's opening weekend at halftime, but now it's off to Mercedes-Benz Super. No. Let's get it. Wow, the Bears beat the Packers. That is not realistic, but already done. Bears on the teams. Um, this will be kind of interesting to see how it develops and kind of integrated. I never did check my audio. It's good. 18th year now in the NFL. Drew Brees. Brees, a quick throw out to Thomas. Let's see if my audio is It'll good. go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Yep, Second that's down. good. One thing we do know. He's gonna get his catches say, when he does So I assume I don't get the flow anymore? No, I do. Second and eleven now. Brees. That's good. Okay. Back to Not what I wanted. He's gonna be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is gonna get him a first down. So they'll take the Fantastic. Not, not something I would have wanted. Talk about a play. Not at all. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. 
Next thing you know, they march up another 15 against your squad. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a Saints first down on a game of 16 yards. Going quickly here to Ooh. Thomas. Thomas is getting some catches, but he's uh, kind of getting hammered there. Loss on the play, and that'll make it second and twelve. Now Breeze again, and this is caught. I think he got that. Alrighty then, who is that? Jared Cook for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Now, this is just the fifth all-time meeting between the Texans and Saints here taking place in week one. And they have split the previous four meetings. Ooh, ooh. Ah, free play. But you would think that these two teams would have Fuck. met more because the cities are only separated by 350 miles, I-10 connecting them. In fact, for New Orleans, Houston is the closest NFL city of any in the league so it's kind of interesting that this is only the fifth time that they have met the last time they got together november of 2015 the texans winning that one at a boy akuna moa take him down losing akuna matata something like that it's a loss of a yard there and it's second down throwing a lot of flat passes again they'll throw with breeze and that one, his first incompletion in his last six passes. And it's third down. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game. So on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried his dress reversal into the game. You know, because you do practice it. You do go through it. Oh, good job getting it out, you two. Exactly like they drew that was Michael out. Thomas, too. Third down, they wow. take a shot at the end zone. But it's I'm impressed he didn't, he didn't hang on to that. Incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get I'm taken. actually really you impressed he did not hang on to that. Yeah, when that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one they didn't get the touchdown but at least they got something and what i like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right a lot goes into the off random cop season to get to that first drive of the regular season they went oh. right downfield mission accomplished points on the board and a nifty return there good return all the way up past the 40 yard Duke Johnson. Field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Would have figured uh, David Johnson would have been the starter. The Texans also get a new set of downs. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific. Where's Where's David Johnson? David Johnson, not the starter. He's not. Wow. Yikes. His overall looks like, like yikes. Opening weekend show that he's right. Faking the give. Now Watson rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. And he gets it down a yard or two. Watson's got some wheels too, baby. They'll wind up getting nine after Internet connection is currently not sufficient to broadcast gameplay. Ooh. Don't do this to me. On second down now, it's Johnson, and this time not quite Don't to the 30. Do this to me at the 31-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. See if we move this. There we go. We got a green light now. Now Johnson. Oh, okay. 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 Down to the 29. I saw a little something there. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. From the 29, Watson. Four stack to his left. Going for it all. 
Can't hang on. Oh my. That's definitely going to be what he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. And now a look at the Saints starting Trying to get a little defense. something over Malcolm the top. Malcolm Jenkins entered the NFL as a cornerback and has transitioned to safety, but still retains his good safety. coverage skills. Being chased out left. Ah, oh, dude, I thought he could at least outrun him. Cameron Jordan, Guess not. With a sack. Then on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in Damn. pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 13. This is Alvin Kamara. There we the go. Good run stop. Good run stop. Seasons. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one. And Gotta get a big a stop here. And See what I can do with JJ. On second and 11 now. Ooh. And this is going to wind up incomplete. JJ's got hands too, so you're lucky he didn't catch that. Now they face a third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Breeze to throw. On the check down, he finds Kamara. Yeah, that's what that and was, a check down. Well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. What hallmark of good defense. Try to get a, try to get a block game, here. Understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance. To think about turning it upfield. Okay, David Johnson. I like it. I like it. Good return. A good return there. 17 yards. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10. I don't want to get away from running the ball. They begin the drive with Jackson. Oh my god, dude, he had such a lane. Oh my goodness. The lane he had. Ooh. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. That play got bottled up. Now Good the catch. Hauled in by Kenny Stills, and they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there, 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. This is David Johnson, the former All-Pro. And there goes David Johnson. Good run. Good run, baby. 25 yards. I like it. There and also a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice. Dude, I love Deshaun Watson's speed. By the running back. Need it. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great Need it. Point by them. Let's take a look the at Brandon Cooks point. here to see the kind of move he gets. Throwing again on second down. Whoa, whoa. That was a little bit ugly. Definitely did not mean to throw it like that. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Watson. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Sheldon Rankins. Okay, both defenses are being stingy. And it's going to be fourth and long. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And that will tie us at 3-3. No one attempted or made more field goals in Fairbairn last year. He was 37 of Fairbairn. And they were grateful for every one of those. That put three Gotta love the name board. Fairbairn. I guarantee you, Bill O'Brien, the head coach, is thinking to himself. Yeah, we well, Bill O'Brien's not the head coach anymore, is he? Let's make sure we score some more touchdowns. Is he? 
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. Where are you going on that? See, now that felt like a realistic first half. That actually felt like it was decently challenging. Nope. Good job, JJ. Look at him. Suffocate. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game. Because Good defense. You know Good defense. Like in a sprinter stance. 37 pass yards only. That was good recognition I like on it. that play to hold him to no gain. Try to get a block it's again. It's a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football to make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Fighting him off. Good return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And that will come the offense as they take over. This not the final game of this opening weekend. Still one more. And that comes your way later tonight out in Oakland. The Denver Broncos and Vic Fangio's coaching day. Another Monday night game. The, Oakland Raiders, the, the hell? final home opener for the Silver and Black in the East Bay. Duke Johnson's got some moves to him. I like it. Ooh, that was nasty. Oh, shit. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Dancing to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Try to get rid of it. Cameron Jordan able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football... All right, we're going to have to start adding some extra protection over there for Deshaun because that's getting ridiculous. Back out on the field now comes the New Orleans offense. Well, it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. Oh. That's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goal That's not what I want. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. They go play action here on first down. And this is Cook with a great Holding? He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. Yeah, I was going to say. They're already walking back. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Cookie Bumbled jar. Against him. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And then you face well, mask him. Somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Holy snaky. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Breeze now to throw. And it's caught. Oh, good save, and Justin Reed. Down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. The Saints on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and goal. They'll run it with Kamara. Ah, uh, you scooped him over score. it. Touchdown, New Orleans. Punching it in from a yard away. Mara got hurt though. Yeah, two of their players now have gotten hurt. I don't know how we're gonna get an explosive offense. I got Brandon Cooks and I got goddamn Randall Cobb. 
I feel like I need another playmaker. The touchdown to kick. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Wow. Wow. Great catch. Great catch. Wow. Catch and one handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my awe about it, too. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have a little grip. Akins is a big boy. To them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. That a boy. That's not a touchdown? Call it a game Excuse me? For the second play in a row. I need to take a look at that. <laughs> I need to take a look at that. That's not a touchdown? That was a hell of an audible by me. I don't know about y'all, but that looks that looks over the line to me. How is that not over the line? Bam, right there. Touchdown. Easy. I'm I'm challenging that. That's that that's so a touchdown. That's so a touchdown. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus How's that not a touchdown? Really ratchets up on like review week. it. That breaks the line all day. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. What's and that that's play where you so flip the ball? You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. Damn it. And this will result in him losing a bad outside back block. to three. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Now it's Watson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Will Fuller there to make the grab as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to, to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Extra point by Fair. Even at 10 apiece. All level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. 
No way you return that. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just oh, yeah, they're getting their money worth. Watching this game. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Good hit. Akuna Malak. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards I'm trying to play nickel defense down. as best I can. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Breeze. This is complete to Michael Thomas. Oh, he ran Thomas. a pick play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The catch and run good for 18 and a first down. So first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 47. Shotgun now for Breeze. Open man is Hill. He's got it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. On second down, Kamara. Wow. He's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off. Good job, J.J. Read that. Sacked at the 10. The lightning rod, J.J. Watt with a sack. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. All tied up at 10. Two minutes left in the first half. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing... See what the coach can do. In the NFL. Come on. It's Good it's hit. Good hit. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Do a cover two. Six plays got him down here. This is play number seven. Third and goal. Here's Breeze. Oh my god. Oh. But it's incomplete. Oh. Good thing. Let's give this defense some credit. He had that wide open. Downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they're likely. there been a decent start for him here in this first half but bottom line his team's losing that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident continue to try to up his game but just let him know signals and throw him the damn football. just follow him oh i had oh there. wide Sometimes open that will do more to elevate a team than wow anything else. see if he has that confidence the throwing to start the drive but that would incomplete once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Buying time to his left. And he's going to keep it here. Damn. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Watson. Catch that. Good he job, Will Fuller. Fuller. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Good shit. He wants me to keep he's running. He's going to take it. Runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to he go to that you too. important times. Because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they can oh the boy! Down. Looking for more from the flood play. Down, but this throw downfield incomplete. On second and ten, Watson. They'll try and run it. Oh, the ball is out. Watson lost it. But this will get okay. out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Still okay the with where we're at. They're good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short. Third and one. 
This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. From the gun, here's Watson. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. At a boy, Aikens. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 30. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting right about four there Let's on get a the tutty. scramble. I want a tutty. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Watson. And then oh. he'll be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's ruled incomplete. Will Fuller was Damn. the intended target. And now it's third down. Took the shot with Will. Couldn't get it. The kick by Fairbairn is good. I tried, and though. Will not things I did. Late in the first half. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it. And that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. I don't think they're going to take a, a shot here, are they? Football out to the 25. Yeah, I don't think so. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. Nope, nope, nope. Guaranteed head coach is like, don't get crazy. It'd be dumb take to take a shot in. right now. Let's get out of here. Tie game. We'll just start all over. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Didn't see him. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Deshaun Watson making his way back out. The focus of our player's spotlight. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing. But... I mean, the O-line's bad. The Texans offense ready to go here That's for just their next no. drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize. Oh, to Brandon out. Cooks. What you came back and helped up. with that block. I could have been gone. Downfield. Let's find out what they have dialed up. The big gainer there on the catch and run. 37 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and Ooh, 10. Ooh, there was a good the hole right there. I could have the shot that up the left side. He takes this forward for about six. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. We got this. Good shit on that. I was hoping he wouldn't fumble. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Good catch, Aikens. Let's go. Let's go. Jordan Aikens. First career ground. touchdown. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Sometimes those I, have, I feel like it's a good balance, there. and that's, and that's what I love exactly right now. It's a good balance between the setup. Go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough, they couldn't handle it. Feels really nicely six. balanced and, and just no enjoyable. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here good in the defense. Fourth. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to I'm here for like all that smoke. Catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, 
plenty of time to get back in this game. They run it again with Camara. Good and job. About Good lane, job. He had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, it's Breeze. And that Woo! is incomplete. I don't know. That looked like a crossover play, but sure that, didn't really <laughs> that didn't really help him. That really didn't help at all. And then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made. No grounding. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Bring out the young go. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And possession will switch. Hands Playing good. Same thing with Duke Johnson. And now out comes Houston. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He'll run it. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Wow, I saw a hole. I wanted it. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Oh, Will. I wanted you to get that first, big boy. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. And not what you're looking to do I can't one, see where the, the ball is going to go, but I'm going to assume this is a safe play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. One of you two get it. Easy play, but end up losing yardage on it. That's hard to account for. The player animation right there was a little, a little difficult to watch, but that's okay. Nope. Nope. None of that. None of that smoke. This close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now Breeze. Get him. Good job. Kamara is all purpose. He is an all purpose back. So if we can get him down, ooh, then we can, we can really affect how they run this ball. Wow, pick play. No, not a pick play. It was just an underneath slant. Okay, okay. I see it. Pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly. Yeah, Damn. It's all about and confidence. Michael Thomas is just all volume receiver. Fifteen and a Saints first down. Ready. So first and ten now in Houston territory. Actually, do cover two. Do a cover two. Marie's gonna throw. That's complete to Sanders. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first Oh, down. boy. Let's see here. Completion. That last catch short the marker by just a Good read by me. All day. One. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him. That's an easy stop. Look at Jake Ryan with the visor. Big sexy. You know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. What I like to see. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go oh. their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Good hit. I'm here for that. Hell yeah. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, oh, dude, he had such a hole to the right side. The ball free. Oh, and man, if you got free on that, down. lights out. On second down and four, Watson forced out to his left. I have to pull it. I got this big boy on the outside coming after me. Dimensional, able to scramble for the first. Big boy chasing my ass. They like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. And he 
got blown up. Will, it's man, you are getting slacked on that. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second uh, down. Trying to run some plays that I haven't ever run before. Get a stat line going for them. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. That ain't looking too pretty right now. Quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Wow. No Everything covered. Down. Well, certainly some teams are not intimidated by down and distance on defense, are they? Third and very long. <laughs> Let's go get this guy again. Big time pressure. 44 on his first punt. This is a good kick as well. Good tackle. I didn't want a hard hit. I just want to be able to get him down inside the 20. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And last time the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. Good hit again on him. Yeah, damn. Ted Jen Jr. is getting his, his ass beat. Past the 50 yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do Who's 18? Who is that? That bad taste out of their mouth here. Drew Brees, six fourth quarter comebacks a season ago, and that led the NFL. He'll try to deliver another one. Brees leaves this one with Kamara. And getting gonna get Kamara hurt again. Overusing the, the kid. Ten yards, good for his Saints first down. My goodness. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Brees here finding Kamara, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now Brees. Good job. No it's JJ. Who else, down. man? The sack there by J.J. Watt. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Good job. Deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. The Saints on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and 16. Here's Breeze to throw. Get him. Oh my god, dude. Oh my goodness. That should have been tackled and it should not. Uh, uh. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw is Breeze. And he's going to be taken down. JJ. A sack back at the 32. JJ Watt, his second sack of the night. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Damn right, the reserves come in. Completion, and it sets up a third down. The Saints on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third down and 12. Now Breeze. And Thomas has it. And down inside the 15 he goes. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 13-yard line. Bree's going to come up here first and 10. And he's 6 of 7 now Half -back on this draw. drive. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of 2, and it'll be second down. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second Need and 12. Need something here. Big. They run it for the first time with a backup move. And he goes okay. backwards here, losing. We allow only three here. I'll be 16. pretty happy. They lost two. Be there. pretty happy if we only allow down. three here. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and thirteen. Breeze now to throw. 
Good job. Go Good job. Sack back in the 24. Timmy Jernigan with a sack. Well, they went with a the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the Okay, down. not what I wanted. The kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 39. The kick by Lutz is good. Four-point game. Bring him back within four. Got to drive the ball down the field again. Touchdown. They're thinking that their hands were tied, but you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get Bring out the young goat, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. Yeah, man. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays. Oh, the stop running that play. Yardage, how would you say it? Consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. Good put the catch, Will Fuller. Letters here. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Watson now 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60% at its first and 10. Oh. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Jordan Thomas, the one he was looking for, but it'll be second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And an alley to run. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he is out of Read bounds, that. but not before he's inside the 30. All day on that. Yards that's, there and give him a first that's some down. hot stuff right there. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. That's caught out wide by okay, Stills. Denny, Kenny Stills actually did a good job. It's a little bit of a cheating play right there, but <laughs> if you know how to if you know how to exploit that, that works pretty damn good. Tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. Oh, good ten-yard pickup. About the one-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. Pull back and half we got a one game. I want that. So it's Texans football. Don't you fumble it, fullback. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a second. Mario Davis got hurt on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Oh, we tried it again with the fullback. Away. Didn't work. Swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. That's what I'm talking about. Last hit, boy. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Now it's Watson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Should have touched it a little bit more. Goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep him out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force him into going for three and not giving up six. The crowd here in the dome making things difficult. Third, Good job, Duke. Score. Touchdown, Texans. David Johnson. Good offensive line. Blocking was good. And the Texans push so all you got to do is block good. It would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but 
I'm looking at your face Hell yeah, so good I shit. 11 that. point well, lead. I'm, I'm happy where we're at. They only got minutes. one timeout. Yeah, it was a good game, still, though. Stay Very good game. Cheap and easy. That could put you had they only allowed me to get three, what? No I would have been at 23. I still would have had a nine point lead. I still would have been at nine points. Down by 11, a minute 47 on the clock. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal. In the Sanders has oh, knocked it out. And the Texans scoop it. And Yikes. this return is going to be halted right on the 28-yard line. Ooh. Well, that drive wasn't a Emmanuel case of the points on the board. It was needing to. Maybe it's not. No? It yeah, it's overturned. I was going to say, that's a... Uh, it's an ugly look for Sanders there. Uh, okay, can't even control the ball right now. Two minutes ago in the game, which means that this challenge was initiated by the fellas in New Wow. And if you're the coach, you're thinking, wow. That one good for 26. That was over the head catch. Throwing now is Breeze. Wow, what a throw over the top. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Held the intended receiver once again, and that'll bring up second down. Play Michael Boys Thomas now. here. He throws and he Ooh. hits the slant route to Thomas. Ooh. They'll get to the line here, but remember it's also third down. Breeze to throw again. That's complete to his running back, Camara. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. And I'm not sure and what the they're Sims trying to do here. Third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with an even they're, the, they're gonna have to get the touchdown. To go. They're gonna have to go for two. Field goal, whatever it is. And then there's uh, Breeze. Cool. That might be it. Yeah. Good game. First and goal, and they gotta be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. So Houston gonna come away here with the victory. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. Yeah, it's good to have football back, good isn't game. it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. Now I'm listening to you. So for the Texans, it'll be a happy trip home as they start the season with a road victory here on a Monday night. Got to get Brandon Cook some receptions. Next Didn't get week. anything that last Maybe. game. I know my offense can be dynamic, though. It looks like we can, you know, at least get something going. Which is Once nice. you're ready, go ahead and select Advance Week to get to your next game. Oh, the stats line up for me. 24th for passing, 8th for passing touchdowns. Sean Watson's the leading rusher, okay. Okay. I mean we, we had a we had some issues with third downs too. Let me let me see my third down conversions. I know it was bad. Six for eleven. Oh actually it's it's not bad. Fifty four percent is pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna let the game load in while I go pee and make some food quick.
Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty Jay, good last week. Jay, it was a what? solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for the visiting Yeah, Jaguars, that was a solid win against a good team. Their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Well, I'm trying to grab my hat. And get a victory. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Here we go, here we go. 60 pitch for Gardner Minshew. Throwing on first down is Minshew. He oh, that's easy. Look at that. Picked up by Gary and Cameron. Woo! And he will score a six for the Texas Ooh. TD. And the defense could not have written a much better Pressed script. Pressed easily on that one. My goodness. The offense never got oh, a chance that's, to that's really a, get rolled up there. That the hurts. Defense, the defense Negative 25 offense for them. Play and a great way to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, draw uh, down a touchdown. Oh, my and God. He breaks all those tackles only to get tackled with a face mask. Here's the call. Defense. Numb nuts 54 there. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Now Minshew on first and ten. Oh, he's going to take a wow, shot. Wow, he had it too. Wind up incomplete. To try to give his wow. man room to run under it, but it's second down. So a line of scrimmage still a third he had line it. on second and ten. Now Minshew. Nope. He almost got me on the double move in the backfield. He almost got it. Okay, you know my bias I almost bit really bad on it. People think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Another defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third line, you're going to have the troops here, don't you? Yeah, one for three. What else do you have to look out for? More Negative or uh, one pick. Yikes. Well. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes, and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. Fights through him. That a boy. That a boy. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Deshaun Watson ready to lead the Texans offense, coming off a great turnaround season in 2018. Remember, two years ago, he missed much of his rookie campaign with a knee injury, but he led the Texans to an 11-5 record and an AFC South title last year. On first down, it's Watson. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I like my tight end. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, good catch, Kenny Stills. Oh yeah, my God! Just the line to gain. Four yard pick up, leaves him with third and one. Sean got hurt. Ready, set. Wait, it's not Again, serious. The first man through Gillespie, the fullback. 
Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. I get the call okay, he'll be fine. Third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way, but that means you're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. 47 yards on the punt that time. Just okay, got him inside the 20. Return. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. They go with Leonard Fournette, third year back from LSU. Mm, he ain't getting anywhere. He's met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Leonard Fournette still going. No way. Holy shnikey. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Here's Minshew. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Minshew's uh, struggling here really early. Show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion oh, become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6 yards. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into Good the run, game. good Let's run. Play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on oh, first down. Keepers. And there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially. So second and, and no two. kidding face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew God that was coming out. Almost killed the dude. Enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. Good job, Aiken. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. I like Aiken. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Four catches, 87 yards, and a touchdown. And they've gone to him early in this one. I sense a theme, one that I expect to continue throughout this contest. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards, the pickup, first down. This is Stills on the jet uh, sweep. You guys got a contain on the outside. The defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard and that'll bring up a second and 11. On second and 11 now. Watson. Caught by Cobb. Yeah, I see you, Cobb. I see you. Right around the 10 yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Watson in the offense going to come up first and 10. And he's a perfect 5 for 5 here to begin the game. Out of the gun, Watson. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And from the 9, they get this to the 5-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to 4, and now it's second and goal. And the ball smack dab on the 5-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now it's Watson. Oh, it's thread the needle. Texans. Brandon Cooks. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Texans push the out in front. Fairbairn good with the extra point. All right, I'm going to go grab my food that I just made. They have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you get the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, we've had that conversation with prior to the game. They always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, 
but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty yes, important um, drive, doesn't it? It certainly yeah, does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, that right? made. They, they have a script to start yeah. the ball game, kind of play, and typically kind of those scripts right go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. I'm let my defense down two touchdowns early. It. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero. I'll just pick the play. My defense can work. They to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of yards down. Run some plays, right run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance oh. to catch their breath. Sit what? down and relax a little bit. Oh. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the top. Oh, playing with and he is going to get this one to the 20 yard line. That was not me. Second interception oh, for him now me. here in this first. Much does confidence start to become a factor? He's trying to eat some food here. Question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on his teammates. Going to check on it because when you haven't done it before. Fuck, man. Here as he's taken down. Josh Allen in there to drop him, and that will go. Trying to do too much with uh, Deshaun Watson here. His young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. To try again after the sack. Watson, screenplay. Wow. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air. And you, you get the first? And try to pick up the first down on third down. No, that nine yards short. The yardage. A crazy sequence here, a huge game that time, but it still leaves them well short for fourth down. Just trying to eat some chicken, oh, man. Many times, not just just trying to eat some chicken. Here, but you and I working together, have we ever heard wow, of 17 say, points you know, in the first quarter. On my call sheet. My God. That's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a plays to go, though. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. All right, back to commentating. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. Interesting stat line right now. Technically, he's completed four passes, two to he's his not team, and two to the wrong team. It makes you wonder what he's seeing downfield because he has completed two passes to his own team, but the interceptions are troubling. Is he going through the wrong reads, the wrong progressions? Is he getting fooled by defenses? They've got to figure that out over on the sidelines, working on that surface pro to see what they see. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So we got to be kind of down focused, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Yeah, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Damn. Almost had him short of the stick. 17-0 our score after one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Minshew, first and 10. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Good a blitz. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. I guess they found their offense. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll go play action here with Minshew. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. This is really good That's chicken. That's a big play. 
There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Fournette, and just a couple yards there down to the 17. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On the run, it's Fournette. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Minshew sets to throw, completes it to Lee. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one. Type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when and told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't yeah, get six points out of dirty with the the oil. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give the defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Yeah, almost, good on the almost broke there. that big. Him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. So here are the Texans to take over. They've got the lead right now as they start this drive first and 10. Of course, remember, they beat the Saints a week ago. So some good momentum rolling right now. He's got about time, Will Fuller. About time you run that good. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And the catch made by Johnson. Good move by Duke. Ooh, oh, down, cooking. Gets Duke Johnson cooking. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Okay, some people call it the shuffle pass. Some people call it a shovel pass, but this worked really well. And it's hard to do in the NFL. Dude, I had. Oh, I feel like I was going to have him. Damn. I need to read the line better. Maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick me up, a little bit Excuse of a Excuse me. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Another try after the first down sack. Watson. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of seven on the play. And it's going to be third down and forever. Now Watson. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the Randall team. Cobb. That a boy. Takes a dagger. Randall Cobb. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Texans push further out in front. Yay, now I can eat my chicken. That's a bet. That's a beauty down the field. That's an absolute beauty. That should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Look at DJ Chark. Is like I've been saying, I don't even need to play offense. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that play. at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Or something to get him the ball. Oh. See if they can do it. The run on first down gets him a couple up to now. the 27. Benardrick McKinney, a first-time Pro Bowler a right. season ago. Back on back the to tackle the there. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. This is four now. Oh, oh, oh. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. So that one will be accepted. Automatic first down.
So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. After the penalty, it's Fournette. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. A big one there for the Jags, 18 yards, first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. You still showing the replay for this? Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Speed grip, speed grip. Going with Armstead, a first down carry. The tackle will be credited to Jake Ryan. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't have a boy, Roby. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up a third down. The Jaguars on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Dude. For the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Gary and Conley. That was so bad. He's got no way you catch me. 20. No way. And they will score a pick six. Holy shit. The Texans TV. That pick six extending this lead even further. That was so bad. It's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup. And come out to start the third quarter, but things don't improve fast. Then I'm just playing cover two, too, too. I'm just sitting in the flat zone. And this will be a touchdown. Not accurate with the ball. Over the end line. Not making good decisions Leonard with the ball, Fred even. Making his way back out there. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call him the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game. Oh, dude, I read it. Oh, I Sometimes saw it coming, too, and just couldn't get there they get in time. Tired, they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's I was trying to lurk it. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Throwing on second and eight. Minshew dumps it off to Fournette. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third and one. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Yikes. Nowhere to escape, Yikes. and he goes down. Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. You and I both Their offense is horrific. Because we're not just looking at tendencies anymore. We're looking at analytics, and I've got to think the analytics on third and one say run the football. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. A.J. McCarron on his way back out there. I'm sure he wanted to have a huge game, wants to have a huge game as the quarterback, but really on the ground, they've been very, very hard to stop. Maybe you just keep going A.J. McCarron. I think so, and isn't it funny how the definition of balance changes for us from game to game? Sometimes it's like 50 A.J. McCarron's not even out there. Sometimes it's just being a balanced running team in terms of who's carrying yeah, the football. More than one guy. Right, multiple guys out there, and now your guy back there has to throw it. They don't have to worry about it quite as much. And they've got the lead here in the second quarter. They go play action here on first down. He's letting it flip. They've got his man. Good catch. And then I get the pass or an error. Unnecessary roughness. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. Let's go. I know it's an emotional game, Charles. We can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions, it's gonna make the coach emotional with, coaches, with rage. That's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Flushed out right, and now he's gonna use his legs. 
A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Here's Watson. Flush to his right. This is caught. Uh, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A game good coverage by them. One. Good coverage by them. We now proceed to the start of the second half. I'm not going to care that I didn't get a touchy so there. So come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. A reminder coming up later tonight, Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 8:20 Eastern. And then tomorrow on Monday night football, Odell Beckham back in New York, back in MetLife Stadium. Browns and Jets, 8:15 Eastern on Monday night. And that's complete to Cooks. 17 for 17. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Third down just got a lot tougher. That will officially go as a loss of seven. Throwing on third down, Watson. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack, but that wasn't the case there. 20 yard gain, the I'll take it. Probably would have been better off just dropping the pitch. The first down carry here for Johnson. And they'll get him down as he's in first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the back. Let's go, Brandon Cooks. Need something from you. Good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop him. Being chased out left. Oh, and my God, dude. He was so open in the middle. It'll be oh, ho, 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 ho. So he would have been lights out gone. On second and ten. From the gun, a run for Johnson. Good pickup. This down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Give him 17 on the pickup there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. On first down, it's Johnson, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before. I like the little combo I have with these two. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Johnson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Oh, he's and injured. Johnson dinged up a bit. Come on. Still down. Hopefully nothing serious. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. To throw is Watson. That is caught with the seven. Ooh, Aikens almost took That's it in. For a gain of six, second and goal. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Touchdown, Texans! Watch the campfire, boys. Well, this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait, oh, it's open. Time to hop foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between. Oh, two their points. offense and defense just straight is brutal line. to watch. So the touchdown. Here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Sean Watson. Whew. And Play that'll maker. carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchdown. All day. Go. Ready, ready. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting they start comes crushing the run game now, even. Most of, script coming out of, the most, of most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they will, whatever Three picks, they under 100 yards passing. Off to a quick start. Yikes. It's a gain of six on the play. And just like that, it's third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Got his man. It's Eifert. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. This quarterback now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Good hit me. Too tough to hold Woo. on to that one. It's second down. Read that. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. On second and 10, it's Minshew. Caught here by Conley. That's and just going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. So a decent gain, and you're back. off or not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Fournette running out of the gun. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Caught the defense off guard there a bit on second and long, but now you still have to deal with third and long. Yeah, you do, but you feel pretty good about the last play, don't you? And maybe it gives you a little bit of confidence dialing up the next one, and maybe your team will believe in it when you send it in. Good job, Conley. Take it on third Woo. down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Good job getting on that. I thought that would uh, that would have been a huge pickup for them. It really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Chew the clock Set and uh, get the hell out of here. Sean Watson and this Texans offense. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, Damn. what do you look at stat line-wise for your coach? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. Have we had a turnover? In college, our first I don't remember us getting game, a turnover. The team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball? Not turn it over. Keep My the God, was that a face mask. A to win. That's Ooh. what he's done here in this one so far. Face mask. Defense. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot a huge keep your face hand mask. up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. On first down, Watson. He finds his man, Johnson. Did I have... Everyone's got to be able to catch the ball. Oh, I had Brandon Cooks offense. going down the field hard. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Watson. you going. He gets I'll find you. Johnson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Cool. He should have ran that full speed. I would have I would have been able to nail him. I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Now a play fake and it's Watson rolling to his left. And he'll find Aikens there complete. Aikens is a big boy. Hell yeah. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Oh, I look like a horse collar. Scrimmage and taken down. 
They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Jeff Aiken. Target yet again. It's complete. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Watson now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Yeah. yeah. About time that play worked. First career rushing touchdown. There you go. As his guys continue to pour it on. So another score there. Often you talk about the three RPO. phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, they have coach water in the fourth phase. That's the coaching. And they'll tell the ownership that <laughs> he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. So they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Let's go. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now, 70, Indy. In your face. Now Minshew on first and ten. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Here's Minshew. Lee's got it over the middle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. All right. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. Their own. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means oh, wow. I took out my own guy on that. And it's caught. The deflection. Wow. That pick up I would have had the sack. Jacksonville. Sometimes luck is all you need. That was not even the intended receiver on that play. Well, Johnny on the spot, though. Yeah, and it turned into a big play for those guys on offense. They'll take it each and every time. Good job, Akuna Maw. down there, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl. Tight. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Yikes. McKinney, the linebacker, picks it. And they will score. Pick six for the Texans TD. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all It's been like three pick sixes defense. this game. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it. I'm not, not even trying to get big sixes. Them, which is often I'm the just case. trying to get a stop. Being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw sound, out. And beating sound the win for the team. This was a for the homies. Well prepared. This is fielded at the goal line. Ooh. It'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Oh, I do. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football. You have to reevaluate the QB position after this game. Left. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Throwing on first down is Minshew. Nowhere to JJ? escape. JJ? No, nope. Whitney Merciless. Down. Whitney Merciless picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a long time to throw the football. I like the way I said that in his defense. In his defense, I got him. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Give him nine yards on the second down screenplay. The Jaguars on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is going to be third and 13. Oh, my goodness. Third down, knocked away and incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because... Ah, uh, that is a good question. Uh, what's the sign? Yeah, let's, let's bring McCarron in. They got a good point. Deshaun already kind of had a iffy in injury earlier. Season, Not going to risk it. On three games in a row. There were blowouts, and in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in wow. each instance, I asked Holding. the coaches later on, "Why didn't you do that?" And they all looked at me and uh, said, "Just don't really do that." Good read by me, and, and just you know, these guys play, and mm. we just play them all the way mm -mm, through. Mm -mm, now, mm -mm. in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And he's going to lose Damn. yardage here back Guard to the 14 Guard got uh, wrapped up somewhere. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Minshew, and this is going to be caught, but they'll see. Yeah, I was going to say that kind of looked iffy so with his feet placement. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Minshew sets to throw. Oh, to risky. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. It has just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Good job on the wrap-up. The Jaguars on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and 19. So third and long. Here's Minshew. And the catch good. It's Eiffel. No way. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. 
And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Give them 17 on the pickup there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers. Good pickup. The runners. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yard home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. And able to break one tackle. All right, former All-Pro. Seen some good Give run at first. On first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Running from the gun, Johnson. Some nifty running, but it only gets him to the 45. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Matchbox lights. Let's go, baby. Check 26. On play action, it's McCarron. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 40. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an... Got a man that's caught at Good the side line. Oh, my God. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big It was a great catch, to too. That was a really defense. good catch. Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy yeah, and use yeah. the, in and addition things, to the pencil. And those last forever. A long time. No doubt. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are... So far, I'm pretty happy with the offense. Defense, fucking love defense. Defense is lights out. Allowed 19 points Scouting the last two points games. points are earned every week. Use all of your points because a portion of the remain points will be lost when you advance the week. Um. Whoa. Let's go with this one.
Here's a list of all the players that will appear in the upcoming draft. Select a player to learn. Select to scout this player and unlock his. Each skill unlock will cost you scouting points. Unlock this player's true skill ranking to see if he is a. You just found a diamond in the rough. Other teams will undervalue. NA. The fuck? Some of these guys don't have schools now? Interesting. Players have contracts that are about to expire. Oh, Resign them so yes. you don't lose them to free agency. These players are on the last year of their contract. That's it? Oh, damn. It's not bad. Probably the only one I'm gonna give besides you. Ah. Are you a rookie? You're 23 years old. Are you starting? Are you starting right tackle? No, it's Howard. Hmm. Probably not gonna give you a contract then. How old is Akins? 27 years old, one year experience. That's because he came out of basketball. All right. Weekly award, who is this? Conley, two picks, two touchdowns. Yeah, he had two pick sixes. Guy went crazy. probably be the last one and I'll probably upload this big file to YouTube Everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20. Okay, coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Southern California and the newly named Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Houston Texans and our home team. Oh, look at this stadium. at the two. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Joe Burrow. Okay. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. It's on field. It's on field. They'll try the left side. Dobbins. And he'll be out of bounds. And J.K. Dobbins. Okay, the then. Rookie class. yards is the pickup there in a charger first down. It's a little broken from the... The file I poured it over, but whatever. Wow. A quick throw caught by Allen. Wow. Goes at the that was a good fake. You got me on that one. Wow, that was last second RPO. The Chargers starting offense. If you got to talk about great players with the Chargers, you have to include their center, Mike Pouncey. A four-time Pro Bowler. He and his brother Marquise with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They were the Pro Bowl centers for the AFC in 2018. There goes a deep ball in zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point. His first career interception. That's his first career interception, huh? He's not lapping it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted it. Hey, I'm honored to take your first career pick. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. 
And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success, how about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. Shit. Throwing to start the drive. Should have let that develop more. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and that'll bring up second down. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Here's Watson. Dancing to his left. And he slings one that's incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree. Yeah, I'm just not trusting myself right now. I gotta slow down. Could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making... But I think the ball's out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. A first carry now. This is Johnson. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move wow. away and open up a crease. I wanted, to, I wanted to bounce Did that outside, that too. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Throwing on third down, Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. At a boy. At a boy, Will it or yeah. Will Fuller? Jesus. Will Fuller, his third touchdown now on the year. Really? Guys are able to strike. I've even noticed he's at three. Opening quarter. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good, and that makes the score seven nothing. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Now a deep ball here. Hold in just past the 50. Wow. And he's taken down right and at good the read by the rookie. yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Now a carry by the third-year man. This is Austin Eckler. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. On second down, Eckler. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. What a great surprise Austin Eckler has turned out to be. That's the kid that was undrafted out of Western State, signed with the Chargers in 2017, and then last season, 554 yards at 5.2 yards per carry, and then he was also effective catching the football. 39 receptions, over 400 yards there. A great compliment to Melvin Gordon. What? And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. Yikes. The score will stay right where it is. That was ugly. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, Watson. Polluting the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. And Stills bringing it in. Oh boy, Kenny Stills. 
That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the good defender game, away from good the game. football and get the quarterback a really nice target. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. Okay, Duke Johnson. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after the strong run we just saw. Feeling that. Corral him quickly defensively. On second down and four. Watson escaping the pressure right. Good and job, Brandon Cook. Caught. Touchdown, Houston. Two first quarter touchdown passes now for Deshaun Watson. And the Texans push further out in front. That's two really excellent drives for them to start this ball game, both ending with touchdown passes. And big picture, they got the run going on that series like too. Machine right now, but let's down focus a little bit and talk about the guy calling the signals and throwing the passes. He is playing with precision right now, scanning the field and making excellent throws. This fielded at the two. Now a hit. Holy shit! That a super return as he gets got us all the way down inside level. the twenty-five yard line. Why we saw that field goal try a moment ago, I'll never understand. But as a result, this offense, they've got to be pumped. First and ten in striking position already. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On second down, Johnson. And they work this near the five. Good job falling forward. Stopped at the six. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he goes backwards on this one. Trying to follow my blocker. To the seven. That's going to go as a loss Damn. of a yard, and it'll be second down. All right. Now Let's give this a try. Seven. Here's second and goal. They'll try the air now with Watson. Buying time to his left. He'll try and run it. And he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field. And that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Now Watson on third and goal. Steps away to his left. He's going to roll the ball. Oh. Watson lost it. And picked up by the Chargers. Let's be frank, you hate the fumble at the end of the play, but prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage, but in that portion of the field, back tried. close to the sideline, Step damn out. sure yeah, tried. Get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. Gotta imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now back to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Damn, why don't you two pick it? Knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Mike Williams that time. And it'll bring up third down. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. No There's way. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 50, the 30, 10. Touchdown. A great play there, 97 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again, <laughs> and again, <laughs> again, and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. 
This one taken from the seven. Wow. So here are the Texans to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. He's got the lane, and there he goes. Do it right and back to you. This one in for a Texans touchdown. Duke Johnson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. Fairbairn good with the extra point. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead Two the league in on the Giants. this season. All and right. It's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drop. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Um, so they that. say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. They'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Ready, ready. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw here. And that is Ooh. incomplete. Two for seven, 33 yards no and a pick. Here on third down. They've converted Yikes. only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So a change of possession here on the punt. And we focus on Duke Johnson now. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong. Only in week three, and you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting, getting the groundwork laid for the season or, or for a game. And that's what they've done with the running game so far. It reminds me of when I first went to the University of Tennessee. And believe it or not, I was a quarterback for a day and a half. <laughs> and the first practice session. Quarterback for a day and a half. Was Jesus. Pitch, which is a toss sweep. And I remember the offense coordinator saying, that's our identity. That's our bread and butter. That's the basis of our offense. We got to get that down right here, right now. I think we're seeing some of that in this running game here. So did you not get that down, and that's why you were moved to the defense, or what? I, I don't know for that reason, but I do know I saw a couple of guys throw, and immediately they were saying, you know, you need to learn how to backpedal. Hey, you turned into a heck of a DB, though, partner. <laughs> They'll run on first down. I wouldn't say a heck Johnson. of a DB. I've Johnson. never even Johnson. heard of him. The one tackle, but not much daylight after that. Throwing some shade at the announcer, down. but seriously, I've never even heard the of him. goes there to Linval Joseph. <laughs> on the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. Back to back four yard runs. Now, look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And he's going to go down. He sacked Duke back the Johnson, you got to fucking come over and get him. Joey Bosa bringing the lumber that time. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Watson now to throw. Stepping up, he'll try and run. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. It's complete still. Useless. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. 
Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Now that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver I want to call screen, it well defended. You just, get underneath the play uh, I just call my guy useless. That's what I would do. Fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. So the scoring drive I would call that one. nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Yeah, he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Here's second and eight. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree. Oh, dude. Really so lucky. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue mm -mm, to move on. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. Deshaun Watson and the Texans offense trot back out there. Yeah, they have had success on the ground, really as a team, doing well carrying the football. So maybe a little less pressure on his shoulders as the quarterback. Any pressure he's carrying right now, that's self-inflicted, right? He's taking it on. He doesn't need to. Continue to do what you just said. Let everyone else carry the football. That's been effective. Don't have to worry about him throwing the ball in all the situations now. That's got to be a good feeling if he just relaxes and lets it keep coming to him. Yeah, and relax and enjoy the second quarter lead right now. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. So first and ten now from the 30. Now a play fake, and it's Watson out to his left. Jeez. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws he it away. He got off of that ball so yeah, that quick. Sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Pretty good running there. Nine yards. Sets up a third and one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So Great run. sometimes. And they will finally drag him down at the Chargers' 25-yard line. Watson on first down. Forced out to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. He'll get 10 there all on his God own. Damn, he chased down. my ass. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Now it's Watson. He gets this one to Johnson. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now a first down throw, Watson on the move to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Tell you what, I would not be running it this much if it wasn't for what's his face. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Here's Johnson, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, David Johnson. David Johnson. His second touchdown on the season. And the Texans push further out in front. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty That's decent cushion. big time because of Joey Bosa. A lot of rushing yards. They finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. 
The Charger drive about to get going. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy. To Hell no, I would go for a second. touchdown here. There's also something to challenge. With how much they're down. Get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. He'll look to throw. Allen's got it complete. And taking it across midfield and inside I'd stop this the down 45. the field and get try to get a touchdown. Well, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He'll get this to Eckler. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Almost try to get three. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And all oh, this is taken in one hand and what a catch. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. They'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. What? How's it a first? For the first down with a gain of two. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Now Why would they not hike it quick? It Try to either get a touchdown to or some extra time. yards. So even though it's first Stupid down, play. here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And oh. that is not going to get there. Oh. Well, he missed it short. Idiot. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's a second missed field goal here in this first half. He'll have to think about that going forward. Maybe time for a little soul searching as well. Yeah, the head coach might be looking towards the heavens because you wonder if this will affect the fourth down decision making going forward. If you get fourth and three, fourth and four, situations that used to be calls for the kicker might get a second thought. So I'm waltzing down Main Street, got an umbrella. Just Don't a torrential down down Main for Street. I look over, and this guy, stone face, wearing a poncho that says, Don't rain on my parade. And he is just angry. And uh, we gotta go. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the rest later. Here we go. Third quarter. Man, I wanna hear that story. Can't just start doing the poncho shit. I'm gonna do two clock though, that's for sure. Get my ass Texans out of this place. Ready to go here for their next drive. You guys are they brutally bad. Lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Yikes. Here's what we think Duke going to Johnson do to putting on a clinic. Half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see him when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. Getting good a yards, too, with Duke. First down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Okay, uh, first off, I handed it off. Joey Bosa. Not sure if the game is just retarded. Second sack of the afternoon. But thank you for that. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player disruptive in all phases. Whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big time guy you have to block. On the left side, this is Stills. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I might need to bring A.J. McCarron in here. This like game is pretty much over. Do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. My dude, Deshaun Watson over so here is done for the day. The All things considered, a good opening Got, what, 27-point lead? Yeah, 27-point lead. The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Quarterbacks <laughs> love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move. And they try to force wow. it to Allen and it's intercepted. Wow. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Horrific good starting field decision making as they come up first and ten right at the 50-yard line. 
Now Watson. It's caught. Stills right side. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They'll go buy them dinner, but after a play like that, he might reduce it, might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for a well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight ounce. Eight ounce. Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. Tell you what, Deshaun's been running the ball really good too. I pulled it every time I've needed to today. I've had to pull it a lot. Really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. A pickup of eleven and a Texans first down. On first down, it's Watson. Being chased out left. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. I like Aikens. A gain of six Does there a good job first. of expanding, uh, expanding the play. On second down, Damn. it's Johnson. I want to see a little bit more aggression from him. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. 30 point lead now. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick. All right. Out, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Trying to shake off the Ooh. interception. He'll look to throw. He's got to shake, shake off that sack. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to hey, dump him for a loss of eight. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. That no way. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. Damn. You come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. An effective seven yard third down conversion. Back to throw. Oh. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little some really bad throws today. today. Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. Second and ten. Complete. It's Henry. Good hit. Good hit. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. They're going to look to throw. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Back now at Dignity Hill Sports Park in Carson. Dignity Hill Park. Wow. As we get going in quarter number four. 
Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, Good competes job. for it, and Good decides job. when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Definitely not in throw, but it misses the target. You're definitely not in field goal another range. Pass attempt, another this is unrealistic as hell. You're, yeah, you're trash. So defensively, pretty good job. Definitely because they you're, never you're the epitome of trash. Of their playmakers. It's a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you, you got to fill. This is fill time for guys fill like time. you and I. But yeah, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is. And I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very impressive. Oh, try. Try to get something a little bit sneaky there. They put it all together. And I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Throwing on third down, Watson. Man, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's gonna take to slow them down. Should be able to get this inside the five. In the win last week nope. as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. All right. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Hell no. That ain't happening. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass. God, he got his ass whooped. and ten. He'll look to throw. It's complete to Williams. Why are you not staying in the center of the fucking field? I literally don't need two TP two people on one person. He's the guy, we don't. Mike Williams, that the Chargers took seventh overall a couple of years ago. Battled injuries as a rookie, but in full health last year, he caught 43 passes with a knacker really finding the end zone. Ten of those 43 catches went for touchdowns. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. They'll set up the throw. He's got green. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and come back to Carson after this. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. That throw into the arms of Allen. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's a second and seven. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Uh, and he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stops uh, made at the Texans 28. Uh, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. Ooh. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got half of the tight end candidate. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up for the incomplete. Threw it out of bounds, so it's not going to pick that. But now it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Oh, good hit. Well, this is Keep him short. On the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. That was the ninth Great the hit. Drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Trash really field goal nice kicker. Jesus. Looked like that was going out again. 
Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter. Up by much, four touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, I, respectability. Uh, yeah exactly right. I don't have confidence in them. Long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We've got a lopsided game here. I, I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page. 200 yards. You know what it says? What? Let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance. Where they took control of this game. How they've managed to keep control of this game. And then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here Damn. and get to the airport. And a lopsided blowout. The roads are usually open. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. The Texans on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it with Johnson. Five for ten. Take six for eleven like last week. Yard line. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third Push down forward, that's what you got to do, man. That is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Whoa. Incomplete. By the way, I gotta apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm gonna get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm gonna try to tighten things up. Here 142 pat rush yard. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him Holy a cannoli. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts Let's of the red zone go. here for first it's like and we're ten. a rush team. There's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Dude, the rush yards we've had today are just insane. Here's second and six. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. To throw on second and six. Watson, he finds his man Johnson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, here's Watson. Dancing to his left. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets some nine yards. Of course, a it's a good decision. I made These those all day. These are backbreakers for our defense. They thought they had him hemmed in. Thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and he will get into the. There you go, David Johnson. Another touchdown. This thing Put is on a good. show. Now it's looking incredibly likely, obviously. Jesus. Two and zero is one thing. Three and zero, you really have some momentum. Duke and Johnson, Deshaun Watson, and David Johnson. That combo is Confident, good. Aggressive, attacking at all times. Duke Johnson had the big like rush yards today, to but with. actually, just showed Deshaun what? though. Deshaun had a lot. They're trying to figure out ways to get better. Let's field it at the two. And he'll get across the lot of rushing he's touchdowns today. At about the 23 yard line. Deshaun Watson will probably still be player of the game, though. The Charger drive about to get going. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Well, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team. And we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message. Whoa, to the team. Just something to build on, get it done. Didn't even realize there was a screen. I was say, focused on my go going outside. On throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Now back to throw. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than oh. ready for it. They Should have been a pick. Lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more Good pass breakup, like though. Downfield. 
this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Now a hit and a loose football. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard wow. line. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for. Thank God. Because, my goodness, they had good field to return. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. On second and seven, Watson. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. On third down, Johnson. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't wanted you to get that first, big there. boy. No, he did not. Sorry. Sliding. They lose a yard there on third. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. The troubles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. We'll take what we got. All right, we are going to wrap it up here, though. Um, for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, you have an injury because I'm just going to be game. uploading as one big video. Um, make sure you go follow me on Twitch. It's down in the description. Um, mainly going to be uploading and creating content on there. Uh, who's the player of the week? I want to see who that is. Duke Johnson. Okay, yeah, he did get it. And Deshaun Watson deserved it more if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, go follow me on Twitch. That way you guys don't miss when I go live. That's when I'm creating most of the content. Um, and then whenever I'm able to re-upload this and get this recorded for you guys, I definitely will. Um, this one will be kind of a progressive one. 